if I had to choose a winner, just if I had to, because it is a versus, if I had to choose a winner. Welcome back to my channel, Crystal Clear Curls. I am Crystal. If you are new here, welcome. Welcome to my little corner of the internet where we are Crystal and the jewels. Now, if you like to be a jewel as well, all you have to do is click that subscribe button. And if you like to be reminded of any time that I post a video, click that notification bell. Today is going to be a one brand wash day now I'm, I'm gonna style with something else but this is gonna be a one brand wash day which is my shampoo and conditioner however as a little twist they have two conditioners that I'm gonna try out today um, and I'm gonna do one on one side and one on the other and kind of do a little comparison y'all know I love a good versus love a good versus so um, this is a brand that I rave about, and that is Nature's Little Secret. If you haven't heard of them, look them up. Their products are fire. Fire. So what I'm going to shampoo with today is the Cucumber Nourishing Shampoo. This stuff is amazing. As you can see, I'm almost finished. You know, it's hard to go through shampoos, especially if you have like a lot of them. It's hard to go through them because, you know, you use so little. But this shampoo, you see it's almost gone. Everybody in my house loves it. I love it. And it looks like I need to go ahead and re-up so I don't ever have to run out of it. But this is what I'm shampooing with today. And then they have two different deep conditioners. The one that I have already used and I rave about is the Rose Hydrating Conditioner. And what I'm excited about trying is the Mixed Fruit Nutrient Rich Deep Conditioner. So I think I'm gonna try the Rose on this side and the uh, Mixed Fruit on this side. This is a limited edition one, so I could not wait until they restocked on these. And I made sure that I got one. And I'm going to use it today, and hopefully, if I love it just as much as I love this one, then I need to go in there and get me another one before they take it off the site again. So, I'm going to be back after I go rinse my hair. And I'll come back and show y'all why I am so crazy about this shampoo. Okay, so I am finished rinsing my hair and we're about to look at one of my favorite shampoos. slip but it to be a shampoo detangling my hair is a breeze And I 
can say this, when I started using shampoos that made it easy for me to detangle with, I didn't have to pre-poo as much because it was something I knew I could easily start some detangling, some finger detangling at the shampoo process. And this was one of the first ones that I was like, oh my gosh, this is an amazing shampoo. I expect to see my curls pop from the time I put water on them through the shampoo process, through the conditioner process, and thereafter, I want to see my curls popping, you know? Okay, so I'm about to go wash this out, and I think I may do a second um, wash as well, although I don't have much product build up, I may just do the one. Um, and then I'll be back to show both conditioners. I'm so excited about this because I know Rose Hydrating Conditioner is the bomb. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure that mixed fruit is not short stuff. Okay, so I am back from rinsing out that shampoo. Y'all see those curls popping? I'm talking about undeniably popping. Oh, I just love that shampoo. But on to the verses. It is Rose Hydrating Conditioner versus Mixed Fruit Mixed Fruit Nutrient Rich Deep Conditioner. I cannot wait. I just cannot wait. Okay. So I'm first going to divide my hair and I'm going to go ahead and put it in four sections. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start with the one that I know and I already have an appreciation for and that is the Rose Hydrating Conditioner. And this one is made with rose water. Just great, con just great ingredients all the way around. And it is a pretty uh, thick consistency. Like it doesn't come out of the jar by shaking. Uh, but when it gets on, it's, you'll see, you'll see. Oh, it's just making my hair feel silky smooth. Ugh, I love this stuff. Okay. That up and go here. So you can see that is just flawless application <laughs> and my hair feels silky smooth already. I love the scent of it. It um, is a light floral kind of scent. It, it smells like rose, um, but not in a overbearing flowery way, flowery way. Um, it just, it's just, it's such a pleasant smell and I really, really love it. 
Um, I'm going to go wash my hands so they're not going to apply the mixed fruit to the other side uh, without, you know, mixing them in any kind of way. So, okay, so next up is the mixed fruit. Nutrient rich, it says. Okay, it is just as thick. Shaking is not bringing it out of the bottle, so it is just as thick. Okay, so it gives that same silky smooth application. And the, whew, the smell is delectable. Very tropical. It really feels very similar to the rose hydrating. I'm just loving that smell. I love fruit smells um, with my products. So this is right on point for me. Okay, so, so far, they seem very, very similar. The application, like the feel of it, how it goes on the hair, how it's able to uh, spread throughout the hair because it has this thick texture, you know, thick to where it won't shake out of the bottle, but there's this silkiness to it that uh, as soon as you apply it to the hair, it just you know, starts to spread. I really love that. I love that. And it's like that for both of them. So, I don't know. I'm starting to think I'm not going to be able to see too much of a difference. But, uh, I guess the next test will be how easily I'm able to detangle with it. I kind of got a feeling that they're going to be right there tit for tat again but we'll see we'll see um you know i like to let my conditioner marinate for a little bit you know about three minutes three to five minutes at the most um just to let it start to sink in and really get a hold to my hair then i'll go in and i'll add some water to my hair um and then, you know, try to get it as slippery as possible so that, you know, my brush isn't just breaking off hair unnecessarily. And that has been working for me. And so definitely going to stick with it. Okay, I'm going to go put some warm water in my water bottle. And then when I come back, we'll go ahead and start with the rose hydrating side again to see how easily it detangles. Okay, so... I would say that's been about three minutes or so. This is how it's looking so far. Let's see. I mean, it just has those curls clumping. Getting it nice and slippery. Oh, that just gives it even more of a silky feeling.
Okay, so I'm also going to try a new little contraption I received uh, as a PR gift from Tang Bella. And it's the Zaza brush. It's a double sided detangling brush. Um, and this specific one is for, it says 4A to 4C here, so the tighter curls. Um, okay, so I think what you do is to put two fingers through here. I think it's, you know, so that you can do it either way. But I don't know. Let's try it. So y'all like to get all the way to the root. Oh, yeah, it's it's allowing me to. Ah, it just has that pulling sound to me. Uh, and it may not actually be doing a lot of pulling, but I don't know, it has that keck, you know, crackling sound sometimes. Mm, yeah, just sounds like it's tearing my ends up. Or it could be that I just need a trim, but let's let's just see what the difference in the sound. Yeah, see, I don't get that same sound with my normal detangling brush. I don't know. With the fact that I already kind of need a trim, I kind of don't want to play with my ends like that. So I'm just going to continue with my normal detangling brush. pretty much how easy it was for me to detangle with it uh, not even really having to add that much water uh, it's just I love that conditioner like I already have a genuine love for it so I'm about to wash my hands wash the brush so we can do the opposite side as well I'll be back Okay, so on to the mixed fruit side. This is what it's looking like so far. And it's really feeling slippery. Like I don't need to add water, but I'm gonna add water just because that's what I do. I don't know. I think the mixed fruit may have a little more of a silkier feel than the rose hydrating one. 
And the Rose Hydrating one has a really silky feel, but this one, I think it's a little bit more. Gonna give this a little try again. Now that was easy peasy. Very, very easy. Just wonder if it's the same sort of detangle. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Making sure that you're getting the roots of your hair when you're detangling. You want to make sure that it's detangled from top to bottom each and every time. It helps with styling uh, so that your roots aren't um, tangled and matted and they're able to smooth and lay. Um, that comes and to me it starts at the detangling stage. Uh, you want to make sure you're really getting that detangle starting at the root. You don't want to leave your roots out. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and say that I think uh, you get more of that silky feeling with the mixed fruit than the rose hydrating. Uh, not in a better type of way because I don't know what that silkier feeling uh, would attribute to necessarily other than giving it a little more slip maybe. But it is much more silkier. Well, not much more. It is more silkier than... No. It is more silky than uh, the rose hydrating. Okay, so my thoughts before you know I add the heat and wash out okay whew, nice and toasty um so my thoughts so far like I said earlier I feel like the mixed fruit I feel like the mixed fruit had a silkier application and even while it was on and when I added that water oh it got super silky smooth um I prefer this smell over the rose but I love the rose too so if I was going for a um oh I just want to smell good day like a wash day smell good day I would reach for the mixed fruit just because that smell, it makes you hungry. <laughs> like, it really makes you hungry. Um, the Rose Hydrating, it kind of gives more of a spa day feel. Like, nice, pleasant scent. 
you know, something that's relaxing. It kind of gives off that vibe. It gives off the vibe of it's time to relax. This is self-care. And it gives it, you know, just a nice smell. They're both thick, you know, not able to shake it out of the jar or anything. They both have that thick yet silky um, texture. I don't quite know what it is and their conditioners that makes it that way, but I love it. Now I will say, let's see, both of them say hydrate, but the row, I mean, the row says just hydrate. So you see it there on the side on the sticker, but the mixed fruit nutrient rich one says nourish and hydrate. So, I wonder if that's going to cause a different feeling. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay. So, I'm probably just going to go 15 to 20 minutes today with heat. And then I'll wash it out. And then I'll be back to close this out. Because then I'm going to hurry up and style my hair so that I can get on with my day. I'll be back. Okay. So I am back from washing out both conditioners and we're going to just have a looky so that we can compare both sides. Okay, I'm going to get close or a matter of fact, I'm going to zoom in. That's what I'll do. And then let's see. This is the rose hydrating side. And of course, you know, I already knew what it would do. I could just look at those naked curls, y'all. Those naked curls look amazing. They really do. And then we have the mixed fruit nutrient rich deep conditioner. So here's what I'll say. The Rose Hydrating Conditioner. Um, I feel like it feels like it always does, which it gives me nice hydrated curls. Um, you can tell that they're moisturized because the curls are popping. You know what I mean? They are popping. So you can tell that the curls are popping. There's nothing you can say about it. I mean, they're popping. However, the mixed fruit, my hair feels a tad bit softer on this side than the rose hydrating side. Just a tad bit, you know, just a tad bit. Well, I don't know, I feel kind of like the silky, almost feeling still after washing out the mixed fruit side. And if I had to choose a winner, just if I had to, because it is a versus. If I had to choose a winner, I would choose mixed fruit. But a very close runner up. Rose hydrating is very close. Like we may be talking like that much, like just a teeny bit much. But uh, if I had to choose, I'd choose the mixed fruit. It is a really good condition. And the smell just, the smell sells me. 
It sells me on it. You know, five stars on smell alone. But five stars also on the performance of it. My hair feels really, really good. And I feel like my curls are popping in its rawest, naked state. You know? And you can't beat that. I just feel like you can't beat that. But that concludes this video. Um, let me know down below if you've tried any of Nature's Little Secrets products or these two conditioners in particular. Let me know how you felt about it. You know, was one higher, more of a winner than the other for you or were they about the same? Um, and come back to see me again. If you haven't already, click that like button, that subscribe button. And if you would like to be reminded of any time that I post a video, click that notification bell. Also, follow me everywhere. I am at Crystal Clear Curls on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and Facebook. Until next time, bye.